Hi everybody, Happy New Year to you and thanks for watching Gaffer and Gear again. Yesterday I uploaded the episode on the Hydra panels here and today we're doing a follow-up review on the DOP Choice snap bag that's available for the Hydra panels. Okay, so you're probably thinking, why didn't I just put this in the review with the Hydra panels? That would make a lot more sense. Well, I actually forgot. And by the time I remembered, I'd already uploaded the episode and I was so tired, I actually couldn't figure out how to get the Hydra panel onto the snap bag. Now, there's just one thing I wanna show you here with the snap bag. When it's actually correctly assembled and put on the light correctly, it is very secure and it's a very snug fit. You get very minimal spill light, or I'll say no spill light, out of the back of the unit that can contaminate your set. So if you're using this, say, as a backlight on a C-stand arm or on a boom, you're not gonna have any problems with stray light coming off it. It is actually quite a well-built snap bag. Now, the reason I'm pointing that out is I reckon about 90% of people setting this up for the first time, having never seen anybody do it and having no clue what they're doing, I reckon about 90% of people wouldn't get this assembled correctly, including me. All right, so before we get into uh, how much it costs, what you get for your money and how to build it, what a lot of you are gonna want to know straight away is do you actually get a usable amount of light out of this? There is no point owning it if it doesn't give you a usable amount of light. All right, so in terms of how I've got this set up, the, um, the hydro panel inside is pretty much like this one. It doesn't have any diffuser on the front. There's no baffold in here. It's just the raw LEDs uh, facing into the front of the soft box there. And as you can see here, um, you get a very even distribution of light over that front diffuser. So you don't need to waste light having, say, something like a baffold in here uh, to give you softness. It's already fairly optimized for that. And in addition to that, the walls are very mirrored. So there's not a lot of wasted light inside this unit. So let's get into some stats straight away. So these stats are at a distance of one meter. So with the Magic Cloth Diffuser in, which it currently has, you get three, 239 lux. That uh, works out to F2 and 6 tenths at 400 ISO. Now with the half grid, which is your other option for diffuser, uh, I recorded 379 lux, and that worked out to F2.8. Uh, now just to give you some sort of comparison, if you have a hydro panel with um, the flood diffuser on it, that gives you 315 lux and that works out to F2.8. So there's not a lot of loss through the softbox at all. All right, so let's go through how much it costs and what you get for your money. So um, I've had a look around online and I can't find any advertised US dollar prices or any Australian dollar prices. I can only find prices in Euro. And there's quite a bit of variation here. So the cheapest price I've seen it listed for is 145 euro. It seems to average at around 160 to 170 euro, and the most amount I've seen it advertised for was 200 euro. So that's quite a bit of variation there. And I did check the, the order number to make sure that these were the same kit. It wasn't a different kit with a snap grid or something like that, for example. All right, so what you get is you get a bag. Now, just something to note, um, every time I get a bag from DOP Choice, uh, for a gear review, I noticed the qualities improving on their bags all the time. The first bags were really terrible, but these bags uh, are quite nicely stitched together. The Velcro is not going to attach to anything and rip the bag apart, which has been the problem I've had in the past. Okay, so you get a full grid cloth diffuser, you get a half grid cloth diffuser, and you get the snap bag. Now the snap bag, just like the uh, bag it comes in, is very well stitched together and very well manufactured. Okay, so let's get into assembling these. And um, the one thing I found with DOP Choice snap bags in terms of renting them out to people is people get uh, very confused by the amount of strapping and the amount of elastic and Velcro that's there. So look, a, a really good rule of thumb is uh, if it's white elastic or white strapping, uh, that is on the front of the light. And if it's black, that's on the back. So that's a, a real simple way to distinguish because uh, the problem I found is there are, there are way too many ways that people can get creative here in trying to mount um, a light to a snap bag. So that's actually resulted in damage and, and stuff like that. And look, it's not really your fault. You're on set, you're under pressure. 
you know, you're just trying to, you know, do things quick. All right, so at this stage now, think of these white straps as a cradle, and you just want the hydro panel just to gently sit on top. Now, when you do the strap up over the back here, if you try and get everything neat and everything uh, snug at this point, you are totally wasting your time. It's not going to work. So you just want to very loosely have this Velcroed at this point. At least that's what I found. Now, here's where I think people will go wrong. They will do the straps up tight. So I'll actually, I'll do that. I'll try and get the straps up as tight as I can uh, at this point. And the hydro panel just doesn't fit correctly to the... Um, to the snap bag and I think a lot of people would probably that, that's about where they'd get to in mounting it and if you get a big strong gust of wind it's just going to fold up so here's what I found just gently sit the light into that cradle of uh, white strapping and then uh, put the elastic on but don't even go or the velcro but don't even go hard just go gentle with it just so you know it's loosely attached and then through the front just use your fingers to push the edge of the snap bag so that it overlaps the hydro panel. Now it does take a little bit of time. It might take you about 30 seconds or so. And there we go, we're done. Now I put it back down and now I do the straps up tight. Okay, have a look at that. That's not going anywhere. All we need to do is add our diffuser. And we're done. Okay, see you on the next episode.